Hello guys, so today we will be sending emails using our Gmail account using PHP. So let's get started. So let's first create a PHP file. This will just take a minute. Let's call this. Now, this is pretty easy. So now prerequisites. We need to install Composer for this because we will be installing our dependency we will be using php miller and we will be installing php miller using composer so check the link in the description and download composer for that all right and number two the second dependency is we will be using no sorry it's not dependency but we need to enable uh, insecure app login and disable two-factor authentication if that is enabled in your gmail account so again to do that just click on the link in the description and you will be taken to your Gmail settings and there you can enable in app insecure app logins. All right, so once we have those things ready, so what do we need to do is we need to just go to the project directory in your command line like this, see, I, I am inside this PHP mail and this is where I'll be creating this project. So here, what you need to do is you need to install your dependency, right? So the command is this is the command right so it's composer require php miller slash php miller so you run this command and now if you go to a directory as you can see here this is the file we created and this is the composer json and composer log and this is the vendor that is being created so we this is our library and we will be using this stuff all right so this is actually php miller let's see if this is complete yeah so this is complete all right so now we are just going to use that and send emails so all right so let's get started so we go use first of all we need to use php mailer right So we need this and we need an exception in case you know there's an error and we just require the auto load so what this is doing is it's just going to run this auto load script and this auto load script is actually inside okay inside your vendor I've messed up the spelling here if you go to a folder your folder go here here you can see this auto load so this require is actually running that script okay so now we just go mail equals to new php mailer set this to true and then we do this in our try catch because uh, sometimes this might fail and we don't want our program to have an error in case it fails so we'll just do this in a try catch block okay so first what we need to do is we need to set our SMTP debug so that we can actually debug in case there's an error so we go SMTP debug equals to 30 not 30 uh, yeah this should be fine you know any number should be fine here if you set it to zero you'll not be able to see error messages and smtp call this function and then you need to set this smtp keep alive to true and now we will set what mailer to use and we want to use s smtp and what's our host it's google's smtp server right so the host is smtp.gmail.com 
like I messed up the spelling it's SMTP and then we do mail SMTP auth equals to true then we do finally <laughs> we are setting up our username and password you need to enter your email here your email and there is gmail.com right you need to enter this here and you need to set your password here password is your all right now you set the SMTP secure to TLS this is for security purposes and then you set your port the port that we use that gmail uses for SMTP is 587 all right so now we have our configuration ready now we just send our email so in our mail we need to set from from which email are we sending so again this is your email right so you can just copy the copy paste it here and then you need your name that you want to appear you can put anything here and then you just need to add address right this is the address to what to which you will be sending to receiver right so this is the receiver address and we are almost done guys we have our receiver we have our sender we just need to add head uh, subject and body and stuff now so we just go mail and subject is equals to nice good subject and then we need to set the body and say hey how are you right and finally we just hit send easy as that and you should be good to go so after this send we just echo echo Now, if there's an error, we want to display the error, right? Echo, there's been an error, dot e. All right, so this is it, guys. This is pretty much it. Now, let's run this and see what we get. Now, obviously, because this email and this password does not exist, you'll get an error. So, anyhow, let's run this thing. What is the file's name? The file's name is mail.php, right? So we go php, mail.php, and if you run this, as you'll see, okay, I unexpected entry in file e, so let's just delete this at the moment. Now let's run this again. Where is this line number 29? What did I do from 28 to 29? Okay, so it's dollar. <laughs> I'm confused because usually PHP is not what I'm using. So, all right, let's run this again. Can't use method return value in write context on line number nine. Okay, so this is not a function. This is actually a variable. All right. So now you are seeing all these things, what is happening right now, because this is the debug thing, right? So you, as you can see, your connection opened inbound 20 SMTP Gmail. We are trying to set up a connection and Gmail at your service, you know, you know. that's all. Now we are trying to authenticate here, right? And there will be an authentication failure somewhere. Yeah, see, 
username and password not accepted. Now this is because we have set this to 30. Now if we reduce this to 10, let's see what will happen. All right, it's still pretty much the same, I guess. How about zero? See, if we set to zero, we see nothing. All right, we just see the error message later on. There's been an error, and this is the exception, could not authenticate. Now, so 10 seems like the max, and if it reduces to five, and we should see a little less things so all right so it's basically i'm not sure because any number is showing the same number of debug messages anyhow so this is pretty cool now what you need to do is set up your real email and your real password here and then you'll be good to go all right so yeah if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section below and I will definitely help you out guys. Peace out.